Well, hey folks, this is Real Honesty with John Ritlin, and this is the Dubinator. Yes, it is. I wasn't quite sure what you were doing there at first. I thought you were trying to walk like an Egyptian. No, I was walking like a cactor. Okay. Cacarot, no. Cactor. Final Fantasy. <coughs> Come on. Get your shit straight, boy. I thought that was Cactrot. That was in Final Fantasy, like, three, though. You got, like, ten magic points from him. Anyway, <sighs> this, is a, this is a raw, very raw Philly. Yes. So raw, I had something there. Anyway, it's raw Philly cheesesteak, so cool that what? Cool that Coach is back and the interest is gone. It's, and the crowd goes mild. Seriously, he sounds whiter than Byron. How is that possible? Mm -hmm. ESPN. Emphasis on the P. R. Kelly is excited by that prospect. Anyway, that so is such an old <coughs> joke. John, you never repeat old jokes. What are you t Yeah. Yeah, I do. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> um, Stephanie. So we just start off, Rob, with the biggest cunt of them all, besides Sable. Um, yeah. Yeah, pr pretty much. It, oh, Stephanie, of course, still taking credit for the Women's Royal Rumble. Stephanie, you had nothing to fucking do with that. I mean, she probably had the creative decision on it. Creative, I mean, like, because she's in charge of a lot of She creative. does, she does put the C in creative, too. Anyway, um, Asuka, yelling in Japanese and speaking some English. Her English is a lot better, though, in interviews. Maybe they need to, oh, I don't know, let her not play up the whole thing of only being able to speak Japanese and very little English. Bye for now. Arigato, Asuka-sama. Right. I don't know any Japanese, I'm sorry. I've been watching New Japan only for a month, and I've actually l learned less Japanese than I knew starting. Get anyway. on my level, Gaijin. And... Oh, right. White guy and white guy in Japan. I learned that from the Road Warriors documentary. Anyway, so you have I a believe, women's... I believe the term Gaijin just applies to foreigners. Generally. No, it does. But, I mean, I'm just saying they, they did that. Well, anyway, I learned that from Warriors. That must have been an interesting experience for the band. <laughs> Come out and play, eh? No. Um... Women's chamber match. Great. You, they get to play in the McDonald's fun house now because of all that padding. Yes. Maybe they'll have to have extra padding because it's a women's match that time of the month. And it's gone. I'm not I'm not sorry. Um so still cool. Oscar yep. and all that and everything. Just Oscar. All just, that and everything. Oscar. I, I could watch Oscar for you hours. You could tell he was focused on the events at hand. I use both hands. Gross. Anyway. <laughs> Not on the couch. Not on the couch. You know, Braun and Kane in the last man standing match. And, well, Braun just said, table. <clears throat> Braun was the last man standing. <laughs> Especially when the announcing, announce crew ran away. I, you know, it, I'm just going to say, you can't stage a finish like that. They and, just did. I know. It, it, it was a stage. Not John, were you not paying attention? I was still thinking about Oscar. D I'm disappointing you. Just now. J just now? Yes. Okay, all right. Braun, though, win won quickly. And then Kane, of course, was taken to a hashtag lo local medical facility. <laughs> it's funny. It's just funny. The fact that they can't say hospital or clinic or... He's putting on a clinic. Back alley chiropractor. I don't know. Black alley chiropractor. So, Braun wins. Damn. Yes. And it's an Elimination Chamber qualifying match, and Braun is like, I need to be the last man standing. Braun! Sorry. I shouldn't put my arms up like that. <clears throat> but anyway. Yes. That was fun. That was good stuff. I mean, short. Braun Strowman, super over. What a surprise. Right. Um, and then Elias versus Woken Matt Hardy. That was interesting. It was, yeah. Um, okay, so another Elimination qualifying match. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad. And it, it is building up to the end all be all match between him and Bray Wyatt. Because yeah. that always applies to Bray Wyatt. Yes. Where he loses in the end. The only feud that truly ever ended for Wyatt was the New Day. Oh god. Yeah, that's right. The 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 final deletion ripoff. Mm-hmm. Um so anyway, Coach was as confused as ever. Yep. I mean, I guess working with Cole's rubbing off on him. He's almost as entertaining as Byron Saxton. Byron, I think, is somehow more entertaining, actually. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Byron. <laughs> God, that never gets old with Corey. Um, of course, too many commercials already. They did a lot. Of, I mean, And I get that they have to pay for advertising, but the pacing of these commercials. Yes, you don't have 
Well, what was it? Two commercial breaks during the uh, Seth Rollins, Jason Jordan, and uh, who else was it? No, no, no. That was Titus Cruz in the bar. They they also did that. Yeah. Did they have anything with Seth Rollins tonight? Uh, they did not. They did not have a thing with Seth Rollins. Huh. Huh. That was right. That was right. I mean, he was too bitchy, busy itching and burning it down backstage. He was too bitchy itching and burning. <laughs> I mean, that would make somebody bitchy. <laughs> I mean, anyway. yeah. Bray distracted Matt by being spoopy. Too spoopy for you. <laughs> so, uh, Hardy gets beat by Elias. Cool. We forget that Elias has theme music a lot because he's yeah. always out there in the Apparently ring. Really, he has some good theme music, but God, God knows if we've ever heard it. Yeah. Um, so then at one point they had a WrestleMania commercial with Kid Rock, that stupid racist motherfucking Trump supporter. Kid Rock, I hope you go broke. Fucking hate that guy. Meanwhile, back at the plot. Right. Mania 34 are actually shaping up to be pretty good. Oh, yeah. I mean, Nakamura and Styles. In sp- instant, instant classic. I just hope they don't fuck it up. Instant Blastic. They're in a bit of a pickle on how to book it. Sorry, you left my brain ajar. <laughs> Why was a stork advertising pickles, by the way? Um, Miz and Reigns for the IC. Well, let's just say when storks are delivering babies, first they gotta give them the pickle. <laughs> and now you get the joke. Ha <laughs> ha! Man, that stork was always drunk in those cartoons. Well, I mean... Yeah, that's a good point. How are most babies conceived? I mean, when when you, I mean, that's a good point. When you look at some of the women that you know some guys sleep with, you got to be drunk to sleep with that. Oh, moving on. No, <laughs> oh, no. Not, not only am I being too loud, but I'm also being mean towards women. So rare for me. Yes. So you, you should see the spikes on the audio whenever he's talking. It's kind of hilarious. Um, yeah, Except yeah. when you're editing the audio. Yeah, John. I need to stop that. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry. I get I get excited sometimes. So, um, okay, pause there. Now, Miz and Reigns and IC title rematch. Yes. Many boos. So many boos for Reigns. Oh yeah. Reigns kicks out of everything. So much boos you'd expect Philly to be drunk, but they weren't. They were perfectly sober and booing Roman Reigns. They'll have to be drunk Sunday night when the Eagles lose. Yes. Oh god, this was actually a pretty good match. It was. Um, Bow and Axel got chased great, off. Great heel dumbass mechanic in the plot, but, yeah. you know. And Reigns lost. Yes. Two weeks in a row. To the Miz. Right. Reigns is winning the chamber. Probably. Probably. He's, that way he can go up against Bork Bork McGork. And we can burn the arena to the ground, despite the fact we're not going to be there, so we'll trust everybody else to do it. <coughs> Wait, was that a match for the Icy title or for the Elimination Chamber spot? The icy title. Okay. Um, it would have been. No, see, Reigns is going to. They figured out three tonight, and now you're going to figure out three next week. Mm. So, that good match, though. Miss one. Yep. Good stuff. The Revival versus Slater and Rhino. It was okay. And, of course, the Revival calling out the fans for chain ECW. They live in. It's like, you know, we uh, represent the past. These people can't stop living it. Something like that. Mm-hmm. It was something like that where you can't, Philly. I mean, I, I I know that the Sixers suck and that the Flyers have man you good for a while and you your last Super Bowl chance, McNabb was ralphing on the field. But come on, Philly, show some respect, you boot Santa Claus. How would I expect that? Um, I mean, if they didn't really get good gifts from Santa... You naughty bastards! Well, I mean, I'm. I mean, you you want to talk about people that should be pissed with, about pissed with Santa, Mrs. Claus, because he only comes once a year. Anyway, um, Hall of Fame announcement for the Dudleys. Excellent. They were in the Impact Hall of Fame, and I forgot about that until somebody mentioned it on Twitter, because I forgot that Impact had a Hall of Fame, and they had some pretty good names in the Hall of Fame. Hall of Infamy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> Pretty bad. I mean, you know. How long has Impact been running now? It has been running since... It has been. It will just be the 16th year if they make it to June. No, seriously. June 19th, 2002? Hmm. Yeah. AJ Styles, Jerry Lynn, and Low Key were in the first match. Gets flying Elvises. <laughs> Stupidest it's... wrestler Jim Cornette's ever met. <laughs> this, this motherfucker's about to get over like crazy today. He's trying to pick up the guy and do, his, do more shit. <laughs> Jim Cornette should go in the Hall of Fame with the Midnight Express this year, but then that's not going to happen because the Dudleys are already going in one tag team per year. Yeah. Sasha versus Asuka. Good. Good. Very good. 
Sasha. Oh, holy. That died. Oh, oh God. That, Sasha. Her foot got caught on the top rope and... Oh, or top, middle, whatever. I think Asuka's level. kick more than nothing stopped the momentum. I, it. Yeah. Asuka's like, hey, I'll stop her with my foot. Oh. But, God damn, at the end of it, I couldn't believe it. Her hair was coming off. God, Sasha, your, your hairline's like Corbin's. But, but, well, not really, but we, we get it. Yeah. Um, yeah, depending on where you're from, your hair can be very difficult to tame. So you find it very common that you know you get the wigs and things well, like that. But that that's true. Still. But <laughs> I also think part of it's because she color treated her damn hair so much. No, I don't think that was it. You don't think that's it? No, because that's not her actual hair. Well, yeah, but I mean, maybe she wears a wee because she color treated her original hair so much, kind of fried it. I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> um, well, I'll go in more detail, but it's not a subject matter for me to discuss. This is true. We do not need to go into more detail. Now I'm thinking about has well, nothing to do with penises. Darren is upset about that. Oh, well. Yeah, it's, I know. Hopefully Darren does okay um, outside of WWE. He deserves it. Um, that was a great. Very good back and forth match, though. Very, yes. very good. It, that would be in the top. If you want to do a top 10 women's match of the year, women's matches of the year, that should be on there. Yeah. Already. I mean, it absolutely should be on there. Asuka did great. Sasha did great. I'd mark that down on your list. And, you know, I think so. End of the year. <clears throat> I think I'll just start a list. For- boy, how did that? It was a terrific match. It had a few scary spots on yeah. it, but other Mainly- than that, it it's something you you would come to expect from Sasha and Oscar. Yeah. Sasha. <laughs> They're no buddies. We they are two of the most terrific performers in the women's division. They're two most terrific performers in WWE. Let's just fucking just forget about just you know like not even yeah, include right. the women. No, I mean no, I mean that guy. No, I mean you're right. Over he is, but. Yeah, me. Who the fuck am I? Um, <clears throat> good stuff though. Yes. Really good match. And now the bar versus Titus and Cruz. Is, is Titus or is Cruz dead? Can't that spot. I'm just like I'm like Andy got dropped on his head. Andy kept moving. Uh, am I okay? You know, Cr- <laughs> Titus. <clears throat> Cruz, by the way, didn't have much of a neck before. He really doesn't have one now. He still has more of a neck than Taz. Yes. Um, he's less bitter than Taz. Um. It was it was decent enough. I will give more points to it for the fact that Cruz isn't dead. Yeah. And he seems okay. I hope he's okay. He is ridiculous. Um, he was still able to man, do man his build just doing a standing backflip and yeah. then landing on somebody. Yeah. That takes a lot of physical talent. It really does. It, the fact that he's been relegated to the lower end of the mid card, if that. Low card. Yeah. It has been a travesty. Yeah. I mean, and it's like he's needed a pretty good push for a while. I think them beating the bar could happen. Yeah. Um, and it probably should. I don't think the bar really should hold the tag titles that long. They've been tag team since four times. That's but, a quick question for you because you, you're probably going to know with perfect recall. Yeah. Has black guy, when's, the, when's the last black guy who's ever held a championship? A singles championship? Or yes. A singles championship. Our truth was U.S. champion. How about WWE champion? Rock's the only one that would count. Yeah. <clears throat> Mark Henry was world champion in 2011. Um, Pedro Morales was the WWF champion, but he was Hispanic. No, there, Rocky Johnson was the first black man that captured a championship in, you know, along with Tony Atlas, the tag team champions. They beat the uh, Wild Simones because, of course, I know that. Well, the women's um, division <laughs> is getting off the ground. How about, I don't know. Pushing these majorly talented people to the moon sometime? Yeah. Just and, a guess. Right. And not pushing. But, I mean, Triple H, though. Pe- you know what he said. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. People like crew. People like Booker T. Someone like you will never be champion. Oh, he was talking uh, about... <clears throat> he was talking about WCW, guys. You sure you were, you racist cunt. Um, no, he's not actually a racist. That was just a racist storyline. Yeah. He's not Hogan. Anyway, um, Balor versus Cena had a big fight field. The crowd was playing with a beach ball. All you fuckers. Bunch of twits. All you fuckers that wanted Finn to be in this main event. Yay, and we're going to play with a beach ball. You deserve a good old-fashioned Seth Rollins curb stop. I hope the Sixers get disbanded so you guys can cry about that. I hope the Eagles have a Super Bowl like the Broncos had a Super Bowl against the Seahawks. I hope so. 
you know, I just hope so because then Philly can cry and bitch and that guy's. I mean, Carmen, I'm not knocking you. I know, I, I know you weren't doing that. That equals one, two, two. They're a Philly cheese really mistake. Cool. Their mistake was that their dad didn't pull out. <coughs> American but, cheese sucks in a Philly cheese steak. I'll just say it now. As opposed to say it later. I mean, of course you will. Yeah. Now and later. Now we want candy. Cena, let the crowd get to him. <laughs> But then you had a trash finish because Cena won. It's like, you didn't... You you, you finished him. Finn should have won that because we knew he wasn't going to win the chamber. But he could have had a really good performance. Cena doesn't need to be in this anymore. I think the excuse is that Finn Balor is tired out from being the Iron Man and going... 57 minutes. Yeah, that's a freaking long time for anybody to perform. True. Kat, that's why Kathy Kelly loves him. I said it. I'm not sorry. Almost 60 <laughs> minute man. You seen Kathy Kelly? Wouldn't you like to last that long with her? <laughs> um, so anyway, I mean, this, that was that, that dropped it down a grade. I was actually ready to give this an A. Yeah. Um, even with the, I'm gonna B B plus B plus. Yeah. I'm gonna still give. I'm gonna give it a B because of that. Well, okay. you know what? Actually, you know what? B plus because now that I think about what you said, that's true. Finn was tired, mm-hmm. so okay, maybe they did. Maybe they're going to use that as an excuse because Finn seems to be going a little more heel. Oh, and yeah, Gallows and Anderson were down there also. The Balor Club, <coughs> Pearl Wide, World Wide. Said that wrong again. Um, so yeah, B plus because what you said is true. So anyway, do you agree? Do you disagree? What we said? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Twitter links, thumbnail for that guy in the description. It's been real awesome with John Rithlin and... That's the Durbinator. And we him slowly. Leaving holy and we will see you later as I hold my hands out like this. <laughs> this is a doll.